Boom, how we doing everybody? It's your man, Ryan Romano here with your host of Unbreakable Confidence. Super excited about having, um, for me, a good friend of mine in Kaya Johnson, who is a current LSU gymnast, 2020 freshman of the year, 2020, 2021 uh, SEC floor champ, uh, also an NCAA All-American. Um, I am fortunate enough to get to be surrounded and get to chit chat with you today and love hanging around super cool people and rock stars like yourself. So <laughs> thanks for, I know you just got off a flight um, late last night. So I really appreciate you kind of doing this <coughs> with me a little bit more. So I appreciate you coming here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. All right. So let's dive in. Um, don't want to take up too much of your time today. So Obviously, I know you um, pretty well. I'm fortunate enough, uh, because of Kate, to have been able to spend some time with you and just share conversations and really get to know you and hear more about like your journey and you know, kind of watch you kind of grow and develop as a person from really probably the end of your high school career into you know where you are now. So, uh, if you don't mind, like spend a couple minutes, just kind of fill people in, tell a little bit more about you, kind of just briefly describe kind of your high school into your college journey and then honestly it's like really touch on some of like hobbies things that you like and then we'll really I really want to pick your brain about a few things today okay um so I am from Dallas and like you said I'm currently at LSU so I think in going into ninth grade I actually committed to Georgia um and I was committed uh -huh. there yeah. yep <laughs> I was committed there for two years and then they ended up having a coaching change. And I figured out that I didn't really want to go that far. Um, so I went to an LSU camp and started talking to the LSU coaches and ended up getting recruited there. And then I also had to graduate high school early. Um, so all throughout high school, especially the last two years, I was really, really busy with school, trying to graduate early, finish before um, the deadline to like move in and stuff in 2019. Yeah, yeah. Um, but now I'm here, I'm super glad I graduated early. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's been a really good two years. Um, I'm excited for the next two, they've gone super fast. So I was about to say it's flying by, hasn't it? I'm a little sad, just a tiny bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm growing up a tiny bit too fast, but I'm excited for the next two. Um, I really love sports and LSU is a big sports school. So like, yeah. I love going to all of our sporting events. Hopefully this year we'll be able to go to like the football games, have close to hopefully full capacity, have yeah. fans at our meets and stuff like that. So I'm super excited about like this upcoming fall and sports in the fall. Yeah, so what's your favorite sport outside of gym? Oh, that's a good question. Football, <laughs> football or softball? So have you been, because you've been there two years, your freshman year, y'all got to go to games? Yes. So and then, wow. it was wild. And then, I know, and then <laughs> sophomore year, we got to go to like two in person, I think, so. Uh, okay. And, and then we, was, that, was that at um, home, like y'all got to go there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's super cool. All right, cool. All right, so I wanted, because I forgot about uh, early on in your high school career and kind of making that switch and transition. So I want mm -hmm. to ask you a little bit is, Obviously, like one of the biggest things that like I preach uh, is really helping people. I really say guiding them towards kind of more or less like the life and the desires and goals and dreams that they have. Right. And so a lot of times it takes a lot of courage um, to basically kind of do what you did. Right. And you had this dream, this vision at one time. It was with one school. So and then you wanted to make this switch. So how was that like internally for you? Was there a struggle there or was it very easy? Or what kind of questions did you have to ask yourself to know that like, hey, like, no, I'm totally doing the right thing in making this transition over towards LSU, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, mm -hmm. if you want to just kind of dive in there for a second. Um, yeah, that was a crazy process. I also was pretty young I feel like to me making that big of a decision and I also feel like I committed to Georgia super young as well yeah before I even but literally before I even got into high school so oh wow so it was like eighth grade like coming was, summer of eighth grade summer going into ninth right right right, right. Yeah. Yes. yeah so I mean once the coaching changed and then 
I had visited LSU before also, mm-hmm. and I knew I liked it, um, but I really liked the coaches at Georgia. And then once they left, I kind of had to be like, what is keeping me there? Like, I don't really know yeah. if I really am going to enjoy it or like it as much if they aren't there. Um, so, I mean, like I said, I was super young and super nervous, but I did have to end up calling the new Georgia coaches that they hired and was like, I honestly don't think this is the best decision for me. Um, I want to have a great four-year experience and I don't want to regret trying to go somewhere that I don't really want to go. Um, So I called the coaches and told them that, but fortunately they weren't really upset because I didn't know them very well. Like I didn't get close to them or anything. It's not like I committed to Georgia with them. Yeah. So that, I guess, made it a little bit easier. Um, and then Chloe, you remember Chloe? We were going yeah, through yeah, this yeah. at the exact same time. So we were both like helping oh, each she other. Was switching at the same time too? Yes. Oh, wow. So we literally so were each other's sounding boards. A hundred percent. We were helping God. each other through the whole thing. I don't know thing. what to say. I don't know what to say. Seriously. <laughs> it was super nerve wracking, but. I'm happy now, so I'm glad. No, I think I that's super powerful, though. It's like you literally said in, as you said, you called them. It was like, hey, I don't think this is the best decision for me. Right. right? Like, and I think that's like, if anybody gets anything out of this conversation, it, it is that right there. It's like being able to like make those decisions for yourself and not feel like, because I feel like even as people get later in their careers, which is coming up for you, right? Yeah. It's like you do something and then like, as you feel like, you get a paycheck or, you know, life starts to happen and you almost feel stuck and trapped. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'll ask this too, because I know your parents like pretty well too. I feel Mm -hmm. like were they, but I don't know how they were throughout this. Um, Was it more of them just kind of sitting back and just saying like, Hey, what do you want versus like, how, how was it with them? Because I know in dealing here with a lot of parents too, sometimes they can be nudgy one way or the other, but like kind of how did your parents like react with all that? Um, I think they reacted pretty well with like the coaching change. There was obviously talk about that situation and how it was going to go. Yeah. So I think they were kind of pushing for me to switch, like if I wanted to. Um, The only time they got a little iffy was whenever I committed to LSU and had to leave early. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keisha was not too happy about that, but she got on board. Baby, ma'am, you can't just, you can't just up and leave a year early. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised they said yes. Like, I don't even, I'm still shocked. <laughs> <laughs> well, they came out your freshman year. They came out a lot, didn't they? Uh, yeah. To me. They came to, yeah, yeah, yeah. They came to most of the home meets and then some of the away. Yeah, that thing. Oh, no, that's why. You were supposed to be at the engagement. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> we had to FaceTime you. <laughs> Where were you then? I don't even remember. I think I was just here. Was it in the fall or was it in? It was uh, November. Spring. It was November of 2019. I don't remember. I guess you were just there. I don't know if you had class. I don't, I don't remember what it was. Because you're right. there. Yeah, no, I think I was here, but I was very sad. <laughs> <laughs> but I did get a FaceTime call. That was fun. Right, right, right. Yeah, uh, you missed, no, you missed Kate's whole face. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, you missed that ordeal, so that's funny. Um, all right, so kind of, I guess let's let's divide it up into two things too, right? Like, I think everybody, actually, let me ask you this first too, is like you have your own, you don't, you don't sometimes you know it, sometimes you don't know it, just on the conversations we have. Like you have your own like goofy swag personality about you, right? So with that is, is I think that those are like some current buzzwords people use, but like kind of what does confidence, I guess, like mean to you and how have you developed really, like I said, kind of your own swag, your own personality, and especially mm-hmm. maybe even talk about like how that's kind of transitioned from, you know, when you left high school into college obviously being on your own a little bit more, that kind of helps develop some of those things. But yeah, just talk to me or talk to everybody about like what those things mean to you. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say 
outside of the gym, um, coming to school early, I feel like that definitely kickstarted my like the confidence that I have just because yeah. I was a year younger than everyone. I didn't want to be looked at as like the younger person or like, Maybe. you know what I mean? No, yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, so I think, and just coming to school and being on your own, like maturing quicker, yeah. um, being an athlete, all the stuff we have to get done and like being on time, just being on top of all my stuff. I feel like that definitely matured me and then starting to do those things well, like right when I got to school gave me confidence. I feel like I started to like exude confidence kind of. Yeah. Um, and then as far as gymnastics goes, I think my confidence has come from being trained at Texas Dreams with the most amazing coaches um, and having that like really, really good foundation to build off of and then build it here as well. Did somebody like I know for me, like when I had gotten to college, for, it was actually uh, it was actually a volunteer assistant and he didn't really know, but like he kind of very nonchalantly like took me under his wing. Did you have, it could be a teammate or a, it just for mm -hmm. me, it happened to be kind of, and he was fresh out of college. Like, I mean, he had just graduated, uh, jumped on, you know, WVU staff and we just kind of connected really well. So obviously being a little bit younger uh, mm -hmm. than everybody, did you have that person or like kind of that confidant with, within somebody? Um, I think all of our seniors at the time did that for our entire class, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we had three seniors my freshman year that were leaving um but there was eight of us freshmen oh god no <laughs> so we were like almost over half the team yeah it was just freshmen and then everybody else like we was yeah. so many of us um and then also one of our seniors she was from England at the time she was 23 and I was 17 so like there was this huge age gap but yeah. she definitely like took more of the like motherly like do you yeah. need help all this stuff and trying to like teach us all the things we needed to know because she had gone through it obviously yeah so did you know like when you were coming in I don't know if expect is the right word to like a have the impact that you did or b know that you were going to be as big of a role as you are or as you were and currently mm -hmm. are like did you kind of know and expect that coming in I don't think we've ever had this conversation actually yeah um no I feel like I get asked that question a lot but I don't want to say I didn't have expectations coming into school right, right. yeah no no no, for sure I feel like everybody has expectations but they weren't super specific like obviously I just wanted to come in and do well yeah but I didn't really know what that meant at the time yeah. and so just once it started happening and we were in the middle of season and I found myself like and a lot of the lineups and like doing well and them having to count on me. I think it was really exciting, but also nerve wracking um, just because I did not expect to be like put in that position right away. But I mean, it was really exciting. So how have you kind of, if, if there was a sense of like nerves or anxiety, or, I mean, I guess you can kind of throw stress in there a little bit mm -hmm. is like, as the season went on, right? It's it's kind of like anything. When you first start something, you're kind of young and dumb. You're just like, oh, whatever. You know, you just kind of do it. And then you're doing well, well, well. And then everybody's like, hey, but like, you're the man. Like, right. yeah, you need really you. What are, what are some ways or like even just kind of self-talk or things that like you were able to just like help manage that. And obviously it continues to grow, right? Like the expectations right. as time goes on and as you continue to have more success and you continue to accomplish more of your goals, um people that people sadly almost they would like expect those things from you right? right like it's like if you don't do x they're like well dude what happened like right. what the hell type thing so how have you kind of been able to just really just be you like how mm -hmm. have you been able to keep all that very even keel um so this is kind of a funny story i feel like the first part of the question like freshman year it was easier just because it was all happening so quickly. Yeah. Right. I couldn't really wrap my brain around it. Right. right. Like it was just, <laughs> Which it was, was just probably going. a good thing too at the right. time. It's like, just let no, it roll. Seriously. It was just going so fast. We had meets every week, like, and like, it was all new. So like I had, I didn't know what to expect. And then I feel like sophomore year, last year, 
I ended up putting that type of expectation and pressure on myself that you were just talking about. Yeah. Like, and I don't know like where it came from because it didn't come from my coaches or my teammates or anything like that. Maybe social media a little bit, but it was like really big and kind of hard, hard for me to not put pressure on myself to like either do better than I did freshman year or like keep the same level. And I feel like towards the beginning of preseason and the beginning of season last year, that was definitely like something that I had like hanging over my head, but yeah. I put that on myself. Yeah, I think a lot of people too, it's, uh, well, then it becomes right because of these like self-imposed expectations. Um, I think it becomes more of like, the conversation in the mind than anything else, right? right. I always think about like, like there's two different, or I really say three, but we'll break it down into two categories of like confidence, right? Like there's the physical side of like, every, it's like outer confidence, right? Like how you walk, how you carry yourself and everything like that. And everybody sees you's like, man, she's got, she's got swag, everything else. And then there's like the inner confidence, right? It's the voices in your mind. It's what's mm -hmm. going on, you know, just nonstop. And it's being able to like manage that more so than anything else. Um, because God knows like we waste just as people in general, we waste so much energy, like waking up in the morning and it's like that voice. It's just like, right. you, gotta this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta be perfect. You gotta blah, 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 blah. Um, so have your expectations, how have they grown, changed, stayed the same, shifted over the last, or really like, I guess heading into God, when do y'all start like official stuff? We should, I think practice will start mid-September maybe like oh, right yeah yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> but um I don't know I would say towards the end of last season I just tried to like adapt the mindset of nobody's putting pressure on me mm -hmm. like people that I think would like my coaches my teammates nobody was doing that it was all coming from me so my goal this year is just to not let myself get in my head which kind of makes sense okay. just like have fun and yeah. like freshman year I didn't have really a set like specific expectation obviously I wanted to do well but like there was no oh I have to do this and then I'll right. do well so I think maybe not being so specific and like I have to do better than I did or I have to be SEC gymnast of the year like instead of having those specific expectations just expecting to do well for my team and then however that happens yeah it reminds me too of uh there was it, it was a documentary actually and he was a highly successful college wrestler um he was actually a 2016 olympic champ and world champ and i remember watching this and he said he was like i started having all my success when i stopped caring about wrestling right like it was yeah. like this this sense of he was so much stress and so much anxiety like on himself he's like the moment I basically just said, like, I don't care, mm -hmm. like, you love it. But at the same time, there's this balance of, of like, you don't care. It's like, it seems like all the puzzle pieces just kind of tend to like fall in place, like for themselves. Right. I think for me, like, like on the gymnastics standpoint of that, it's more of like just doing it. Cause yeah. when you think about a skill and like, you think about all the corrections and all this stuff, like it's easier to mess up. But like, when you think like, just do it, your body knows how to do it. And like, yeah, nine out of 10, it's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah. So I think for me, that's also another way to think about it. Just doing gymnastics, not trying to be perfect every single time. So what are some of kind of, I guess for lack of better terms, kind of your goals headed in towards like this season, it could be uh, like sports and non-sports. Like what are some okay. things? Yeah. Like that you want to kind of accomplish over the next year. Um, this is actually another funny story at the camp. I just coached. There's yeah. like a day where we do the goal wall and you write your goals on a note card and you put it up on the wall. So my goals were to, um, consistently read my Bible every day. Um, I, this is something that I like tell myself I'm going to do, but I don't necessarily do it all the time. So I put it up there. And then another goal was to keep a three, eight or higher GPA, because um, I am getting older and 
I want to get a good job when I'm <laughs> when I leave. Um, so I need to focus on my academics. I feel like a little bit more. And then gym wise, I put just being present each day, just because I feel like there was a lot of days last year and even freshman year where like I can't really remember having like a specific goal for that, for that day or like yeah. actually like you know what I mean putting my mind no. to something. So I want to follow up with what you just said there and then ask a question about your your original your first goal. Um, that's like to me like literally when I was out at Oregon State speaking I was like like the best example I can give you is is like I literally had a kid. I won't tell the whole story, but I was able to witness this kid transition in six weeks from like not being able to beat kids to like placing at a state tournament as a freshman on the wrestling team. And like, everybody's like, what'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? And like literally on torn pieces of paper or a napkin or anything, I had him write down and bring me like what he wanted to accomplish in that practice every mm -hmm. single day. And that was like that focus. And it like, it could be almost, I don't want to say meaningless, but kind of meaningless things of like, we always think that our goal has to be like each day has to be like something big. Like I want to right. get for you guys like this new skill or, you know, in the wrestling world, it's like, I don't want to be taken down at all the entire practice. Mm -hmm. And I, like we think in terms of these massive things versus like, if we can just stack our wins right. on top of each other, like that's the most powerful thing, right? It's like compounding. And so I think that that clear, I, th I think of it in terms of like clarity, mm -hmm. right? When people sit down and have that, they're very clear about what they want just that day within those two hours or three hours, right. one hour, whatever it is, it's like that has more power than your five dream goals in your right. life to me. And I feel like it's easier to like, when you have something small like that set every single day, it's easier to like leave the practice and go back and be like, I did accomplish this or I didn't. Not yeah. just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. go to practice, go home, day over tomorrow, go to practice. You know what I mean? Like without having a, specific like no 100 i think it brings more like joy and happiness especially mm -hmm. like to y'all sport too because you might have done if you focus on that one thing and you accomplish that if you had not written it down or acknowledged that you would have thought about the 99 other things that went right. wrong right you'd right. be like today sucked because i didn't do blah 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 right but in terms of, of like hey this was my goal today although those other things happened like this one thing happened so i'm going to celebrate this i'm going to acknowledge mm -hmm. this and know that like i moved forward towards where i want to be and where i want to go just because of that little piece of paper or whatever right. it's right whatever it is mm -hmm. yeah no i'm totally that's like super powerful um it's interesting again it's well it's not shocking right like mm -hmm. in conversations and like i literally consider you i mean i i wildly consider you like a high level performer right like just as a person as an athlete and it doesn't shock me that you think like that right mm -hmm. like you think in terms of like how do i stack how do i stack right me? right instead of like jumping on here and being like what's your goal it's like well i want to be a national champion blah, 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 right. Blah, right like that's the common generic answer mm -hmm. that everybody wants to give versus now i feel like just that conversation right there like everybody can take something away from that so mm -hmm. that's wildly powerful um, so I want to flip back is your one goal is you said you wanted to read, <clears throat> read your Bible every single day. Like, what does that, what does that mean to you? I guess is I want to like pry and dive a little bit deeper mm -hmm. uh, about your spirituality, your religion, whatever, just what those things, the power, the impact or the empowerment that it has on um, just on you as a person. Um, you froze for a second. I got nervous. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so for me, faith my faith has always been a big part of my life I feel like stemming from like my parents and when I was younger and stuff and I think when I got to school again being younger this kind of yeah. goes with it being younger and like I wouldn't say wanting to fit in but just like trying to figure out like what how these four years are gonna go like kind of like who I'm going to be in a sense if that yeah. makes any sense um freshman year like I feel like I got away from it a little bit um and then I started going to the female athlete bible study so it's like mm -hmm. anybody who's an athlete um that are girls we go to this group leader's house and that was really helpful for me 
And so now like being in summer and like getting older and just you keep saying that like you like because I'm about to be a junior. <laughs> that is crazy to me. To me, I feel like I'm getting older. But uh, oh just like having something, it's kind of like the same thing we we're talking about, having something like constant every day. Yeah. And I try and do it in the mornings. So like th- start my day the same same way on a good yeah. good note. Um encouraging in a way like just to start on like a positive note every single day I feel like is important and I've said that I was going to do it like daily and I don't so putting it up there on that like no I I try and then I I just don't but putting it up there on that goal wall at flip fest like he mentioned like having it out there allows you to be more accountable just because like other people can see it too so I thought it was important to put that on there also yeah no I mean because at the end of the day you know it's like so when I text you next week I'm like how the Marines coming you're like right ooh, ooh, ooh. right <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm one out of seven <laughs> I'm two out of seven <laughs> yeah well it sounds like two is more so it just like again I always think in terms this is for me I always think like my personality, there's like, there's like party Ryan and there's calm Ryan, like party yeah, Ryan, yeah. Like, wow, 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 rah, 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 rah. and I think that that's like, I, in terms of like calmness that like gives you a sense of like, right, right. Like just that decompressment um, of like, hey, this is me time. This is something mm-hmm. I don't have to think about anyone, anything or anything else except for me, right? Mm-hmm. Like, and I think so many people will struggle with that. Like you said, I mean, it's not just you, it's like, so many people struggle taking time for themselves, whatever mm-hmm. it is, right? Like it could be taking a walk outside for themselves or sitting and reading or whatever it is. Um, yeah. It's like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do you first before, before you can manage anybody else. Cause at the end of the day, like as you get older, right. <laughs> and you transition into, you know, this year and next year, right. Like there's going to be incoming kids where you, the revolts, the revolts <laughs> roles reverse in terms of like you taking them under their wing right? right and it's very difficult for you to help them if you can't help yourself right, right. Like you gotta you gotta have that you gotta have that me time mm-hmm. um so yeah no that's the that same thing is not on note cards that's a good idea i might like incorporate that at the gym is i have a chalk yeah. a chalkboard wall you know, oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah like just making more kids like okay what is it like write one thing down on there write one thing down Mm-hmm. Um, because I do think there's a sense of like, ooh, and I gotta sign it. Like people are right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we put our. I mean, obviously, we're not gonna be there um, until next summer if we do go yeah. back. But we put like our email, and then like I think every couple months they'll check in, like help you if you need it, yeah. see if you how you've been doing. So it was a really cool idea. What uh, I know you and I have talked about it a little bit before, but like as you continue just getting older like what do you want to do in a couple years um so I have I'll kind of, reprise it. what do you think like what are kind of your interests right now um I have two different like ways they're very different but yeah. um that I want to go and one is just because of like my college gym experience so far I think it would be pretty cool to stay in it if I could whether that be like volunteer assist for like a year just I don't know my experience has been really awesome and if I could like help other people yeah get that or like have a great experience I think that would be really cool absolutely Um, and then if that just does not (laughs) figure itself out or work out um I also want to do like social media marketing or broadcasting yeah for any type of sports team like I said, I like all sports. So that part. Be dream gig. Dream? Yeah. Cowboys. <laughs> Cowboys. Um, social so doing media. like social media for Cowboys, for the Cowboys? Right. So like their Instagram or their Twitter, their media days, like stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that would be really cool. That's cool. That's cool. Mm-hmm. All right. So random questions, and then we're going to wrap it up because I know you got to go. What's your favorite food? (laughs) 
I like all food. Uh, I'm which, serious. All right. So we, we're on record right now. What? Okay. Hold on. We're, we are on record. Okay. okay. This is recorded. Who cooks better, your mom or your dad? <laughs> um, Casey. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Can she cook? Kind of. Oh, okay. Can you kind cook? Of. No. Oh, my God. No, yeah. I tried to learn this summer. All right, let's flip it. What's the best thing your mom cooks? Right. I don't know. What's the best thing your dad cooks? Steak. Okay. What's your favorite fast food place? Kings. What's your favorite non-fast food place? Like, no budget. You can whip out any credit card. Like, you're going to eat. You're going to eat anywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I literally what? don't. I go to the dining hall too much for these What y'all eat there? Um, Is it good? Yes. It's I'm good, but it's not like a typical dining hall. Like the, we have a regular one for regular students where they have like yeah. the different restaurants. Yeah. But ours, like they have cooks that come in and it'll be like chicken, steak, or salmon oh, one yeah. night. Y'all yeah, bougie. <laughs> no, I'm just explaining. <laughs> it'll be like chicken, steak, or salmon, um, like different veggies. You can yeah. get a salad, you can get a burger. It's pretty good though. I like it. Yeah. Believe it or not, I actually I just had a conversation with one of the kids this morning. Uh, in high school, I liked school lunch. Like I was, I was a fan of the cafeteria, but I know that we're not talking about the same type of cafeteria. Trust me, I get it. <laughs> Y'all got the guy in there. I mean, he's slicing prime rib fresh underneath the lamp <laughs> with some, some fresh asparagus and whatever else you want. Uh, no, I don't want that piece. I want that piece over here. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. So kind of last, like one or two questions is like, what's the, what, what's your next big move? Like in your life, like what's the next big thing like you want to accomplish for, it can be sports or just yourself. Um, the next big leap that you would want to take. I don't know if this is like big the wrong answer, Okay, but like, since I'm still in school, it kind of goes back to the, like being present thing, just like, making sure that I enjoy literally like every single day here practice like small things like going to class like making sure I actually take those things in and enjoy them because time goes really fast <laughs> <laughs> so kind of a deeper question last question um if you can the what's the one footprint you want to leave on this world behind you Jeez, Louise. Uh, <laughs> let me think. No wrong answer. I feel like this is pretty broad, but I would say just having or like being positive in everything I do. Um, like even if things are hard or like there are challenges, just remembering that like I'm still here like it's I'm it's still a good day you know what I mean yeah. so like just trying to have a positive like encouraging mindset not only for myself but like hopefully that can impact others around me like yeah. either they see it or they like admire it and want to do that also so just well positive. I can say this and this is God's honest truth you know I wouldn't you know I'm, I'm quite a quite a straight shooter is I think you do <laughs> already you do a really 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 good job of that just like as Thank literally you. before we jumped on today uh, I was having a mentoring session with one of the kids and they were asking me about you and this is like I wouldn't make this up or I wouldn't lie to you about this is they were asking me to describe you and I was like literally God's honest truth like you're like the sweetest soul in the entire world I was like the, it's weird like you don't meet people that like I was like she can't dislike somebody. Like she just has that sense of mm -hmm. like genuine, she may not associate with you per se, but she's never be like, hey, I don't like that person in a certain way. And so when I think of like, as your answer there and you talk about like, I wanna be positive and I want people to remember me, it's just like a happy, joyful, positive person. Um, 
if I can give you advice, the easiest thing with that is just like continue to be you. And I think you'll do that the rest of your life because I think you already do a phenomenal job of that. So thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> we homies. Um, so uh, not a really question, but if people want to like reach out to you or ask you questions or just kind of continue to follow your journey as you mm -hmm. go along, just kind of tell people where they can like find you via social media. Um, I forget what all platforms that you're on and just kind of, yeah, we'll just kind of wrap things up from there. Um, my Instagram is underscore Kaya Johnson. Um, and then I think my Twitter is Kaya0227. I'm pretty sure. Oh boy. <laughs> And yeah, I also just got a cameo. Oh, I, I, I'm learning with, with, with all that too. Somebody mm -hmm. about that the other day. Yep. All right. Well, cool. I appreciate you um, sitting down with me today. This is like two years coming. No, seriously. <laughs> yeah, we've been talking about doing this like right. literally been forever. I know I, when I text you, I was probably like, she probably thinks I'm full of it again because I've been <laughs> for like two years. But I really appreciate it because I know you had a, a wild couple weeks in coaching camps and doing everything um, and just having fun being a kid. So I appreciate it. And as always, I hope that everybody was able to get something. Like I say, I always preach just being able to take like one thing away. If there's one piece of, you know, what Kaya shared or any stories that she had and something that you can implement, I always find it like that that's the most valuable thing. Um, and it, the most realistic thing, I think, being able to actually – implement those things to where they become more of a day-to-day -day thing so as always if you have any questions feel free to reach out otherwise i hope you guys continue to have a wonderful day and can't wait to talk to you guys again soon